gentlemen, it is now time for the featured fight of the evening. Please welcome, making his way to the blue corner, Gia La Pulga Herrera. Won't you tell him what we do? stuff standing up also uh bright future for him we asked him yesterday why he has nicknamed the fling he said i get in and out typical flea stuff i jump around and i draw blood <laughs> i'm all right captain make sure well, robbie and i are all right make sure they check your hair after the fight for you know, fleas for fleas yes yes take Maldonado does the final preparations here on john herrera fighting out of tampa florida this one should be a cracker. Please welcome his opponent making his way to the RFA Octagon, fighting out of the red corner, Josh the Rage Ray. Seven decisions in 24 victories overall. Comes up a win over Corey Ulmer back in September. Before that, the TKO of Nate Williams in March of last year. Says he's going to rock down tonight. But he won't get his boxing. And says the boxing helps the takedown. Absolutely. Josh Wade has the takedown. Solid wrestler. But you know, something that's interesting with this, Pereira 7 0, Michael. Josh Wade, this will be, gosh, his 36, 37th fight. You would never see this in boxing. A kid that's 7 0, taking a chance against a guy with this much experience. That's the beautiful thing about MMA. Guys are willing to take the chance and fight somebody with a lot more experience. They have a lot of confidence in Herrera being able to beat the experienced Wade. Let's take a look at the title of the tank. This flyweight matchup between Jean Herrera and Josh Ray. Ray is the older here by eight years. He's one inch the taller. Reaching the arms some four inches to Josh Ray, two inches in the legs. are in the cage and once again let's go to the beautiful boldness of Mike Kendall. Ladies and gentlemen, once again it's time for the feature fight of the evening. This fight is scheduled for three five minute rounds in the RFA flyweight division. It is brought to you by Inca Cola, the Golden Cola, refreshment for the world. Look us up on the web and Twitter at Inca Cola USA. That's Inca with a C, Cola with a K USA. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five foot five, weighing in at one hundred twenty five point five pounds, holding a professional MMA record, seven wins, zero losses. Training out of Banks LMA and fighting out of Tampa, Florida, Gian La Pulga Herrera. His opponent across the octagon, fighting out of the red corner, stands five foot 
six, weighing in at 125.2 pounds, holding an MMA record, 24 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. Training out of Premier Combat Center and fighting out of Omaha, Nebraska, Josh the Rage Ray! Your referee charge in action is Bobby Wambucker. Easiest man in the building, Bobby Wombacher, with final instructions here. All right, gentlemen, we can do the rules in the back. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. You question me, Gianni. You question me, Josh, touch him up if you want. The flea, Gian Herrera, and the rage, Josh Rave. We're set for three rounds at flyweight. Michael Chevello, Pat Militich, and ruthless Robbie Lawler with your cage side. Go on, you ready? Gian, are you ready? Gian, are you ready? Let's get after it! Eight-touch clubs. Both men in orthodox stunts. Jab early from Herrera. Rave said he's never been in better shape for a fight. He wants desperately to get in the UFC. He's been fighting for an awful long time. He just wants to get to the big show and make a run. Let's see if he can put the first blemish on the record of the flea, Gian Herrera. Goes to the body early. Got much in need for the more tag team from Herrera. Expect that one. Explosive start from the fleet. It's now Josh Ray, top position inside of half guard of Gio Herrera. Herrera looking to start to get that half guard game going. Trying to off balance Wave, doing a good job. Look at the legs, working the control. Got that right arm under the leg. Trying to come out the back door, rocking back and forth. In the past, the guard here is right to no avail. The flea glances towards his corner. Feet on hips here from Jean Herrera. Slides up the cage, back to his feet. Cut munching knee from Ray. Crossing elbow from Jean Herrera. Robbie Lawley, you've got to like the way this fight has started. Oh, yeah, it's a good strike. Herrera looks very uh, poised out there. Left roundhouse kick from the flea. Left roundhouse kick from right. Fake there from Herrera. Right throws the cross as a lead punch. There's the jab from right. Great striking's improved quite a bit. Doing a good job moving his head, getting out of the way when the counters come back. Look at that, slipping it. Beautiful. Body shot from right. Circles off counterclockwise. Trying to stay out of range of the right hand of the flea. Uppercut from Ryan, wild uppercut off the rock, right, missed the target, so to the hook from Herrera, doubles up and misses again. Experience showing right now, and Rob, you, you've been through a lot of fights, you understand the experience, how important is it? It's definitely nice to be relaxed, but uh, I think uh, Herrera's going to start taking over this fight, as it looks to be, but uh, this guy's taking the fight to him, and uh, we'll see what happens. Herrera grimacing there for a moment, may have popped a bit of a strike to the corner, but Bobby Wombach had paid him no attention. Top position now for Ray, past the halfway mark of this opening round. Going for a leg. Man, he's slick. Beautiful, stepping over, trying to take his back. Hacking elbows to the ear now from the fly. Looking for a submission here on Josh Ray. Ray trying to block it. Nice job to take the bag almost with that. Herrera determined to find submission number nine. Oh, hurry, big time. Is this the beginning of the end for Josh Ray, and he controls the posture here, Robbie of the Flea, who's on the bottom. Ray's leg is trapped there across the waist of Herrera, causing him some problems. He needs to be able to kick his hips out to the right. He wanted to hug that leg for a second there, that was the right thing to do. Drops the elbows again, this Herrera. This may be the end now. Herrera is relentless. Ray with the way to go. Full man. From the flame, Bobby Wombacher, and somebody out. 
37 professional fights, something you'll never see in boxing. Obviously, your training camp, the guys that, that are training you, had a lot of confidence in putting you in with a guy with this much experience. Yeah, I know. First of all, I want to say thank you to God. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for God. The guys from Sioux Falls, thank you, especially that guy right there. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Uh, everybody, thank you. The guys over at the Spartan Gym, Banks MMA, and Death War, thank you guys for helping me out. The people in New York and Tampa, everywhere, Supporting me, thank you. Let's talk about you. I understand you have to get some some uh, mentions in there. But uh, hey, Josh Rave, a solid, solid wrestler. But you hit him with a beautiful judo throw. I don't think he expected it. Have you worked a lot on your judo to deal with wrestlers? It, it's just, I never stopped training. It's just one of those things. Well, you're a little machine, buddy. Uh, when you hit him with the knee, did you know that was the end? No, um, I, I don't stop until the ref says stop. You got a lot of talent, my friend. John Herrera. John Herrera goes 8-0, and, and indeed, as Pat said, the flea is one talented little tick. 